plywall housing. He's got a couple of dowels. I'll put some guide bolts in to help get the get it on. But right here, you can. Right here is where a turning tool goes in. That would go in, mesh with the teeth to turn the engine over. Had my guide bolts in the wrong spot. Okay, it is doweled to it. A Cummins wants us to go through and check the run out on this. Once we get all these bolts in, uh, they allow 8,000 run out, which seems like a lot. Anyways, we get all these bolts in, torque to like 57. I'll have to look again. Um, and then we'll check basically how how round it is on this edge. Okay, we're going to torque these in a pattern. Let's see that. I actually got a mark. that rear seal you wouldn't be able to take that housing off unless you pull the bell housing so that can be done in here the way I showed you is basically the same thing okay so we're gonna check flywheel run out you start at the 12 o'clock position and we zero our indicator um, Cummins uses this big goofy bar looking thing it doesn't fit this one so we'll go there we'll go nine six and three o'clock uh, they allow eight thousands run out so we'll go ahead and I'm going to turn it. Keep going. Out there. Okay. You can see we're at 8 thousandths right there. So that'd be plus 0 0.008. Okay. Keep going. If it gets any worse, we're going to have to fix it. A little more. A little bit more, yeah. That'll work. Okay. There we're at. Let's see, about six thousandths, so point zero zero six plus, okay. Part of it could be the housing's not all that smooth here. And looks like we're at plus, that's good, point zero zero eight. So we're within our eight thousandths. I'm going to leave this one alone, but if I wanted to adjust it, I'd basically move this loosen these bolts and move it up and down. may have to re-drill my dowels. That's a 